In this video, I'll show you how to remove the green screen from a clip and blend it seamlessly in Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. So I imported these two clips in Premiere. The top layer is this shark on green background and the other layer is some underwater footage. To remove the green screen, we have to go to the effects panel and search for Ultra Key. Apply the effect to your video and here we have to make adjustments to the settings. The first thing you gotta do is click on this eyedropper tool and select the green color from your video. We can see that the background is partly removed. Now under the matte generation settings, we need to refine the Ultra Key filter further. To make subtle adjustments to these values, hold the command key while dragging the numbers left or right. This allows for smoother changes. Let's zoom in on the video and adjust the matte generation values. Drag the sliders to their minimum and maximum to see how they influence the effect. Then, hold the command key to make finer adjustments until you achieve the desired result. Next, we have the matte cleanup section, where you can use the choke and soften options to refine and smooth the selection. The following menus, spill suppression and color correction, don't modify the video a lot, so I'll move on to the next step. Because this video is shot underwater, we have to change the colors first. In the effects panel, search for tint and apply it to the video. Now click on the eyedropper next to black and select a dark part of your video, then do the same for the white by choosing a bright area in the photo. That instantly helped us blend the video a little more. We still have to refine it, so for that let's move to the Lumetri color panel and begin with the basic correction section. Do your best to match the light and the color of your video to the background. You can again drag the values to minimum and maximum to see how that influences the look and then refine it with smaller steps. Under the creative section, we have some additional settings. The one I'm mostly interested in is sharpen, which we're gonna turn down a bit so the shark doesn't stand out so much. One quick way to match the colors with your reference video is located under color wheels and match. Here, click on this comparison view and make sure your background is found on the left in the reference section. I'll drag the shark clip slightly so I can have the clear background selected for the reference, then click on Apply Match. Premiere is gonna try to match the colors of the two clips, and now you can continue making adjustments to the color wheels. The next helpful menu is Curves. Here, I'll just apply some changes by creating the following shape. Now you can get back to the settings from the current Lumetri color filter and continue making adjustments or apply another filter and make some final adjustments. I feel like the shark is too sharp, so let's add some subtle directional blur to it. Let's animate the shark. I'll change its position so it's on the right side in the beginning and then slowly moves to the left side. Another helpful effect that gives you a lot of control over the light settings and the colors is levels. Here you can make adjustments to each RGB channel and fine tune your video so it looks even more realistic. Lastly, you can enable and disable each filter to see how the changes occur. It really takes time and experience to get realistic results, so take your time, take a break if necessary to have a second look and try your best. And these are pretty much all the important settings that help you remove the green screen in your videos. We'll share the original videos in the description so you can practice on your own. Let us know in the comments how everything went. If you want to learn more, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.